If you want to start streaming and you are working with a tight budget, but you want a gaming PC that's going to be excellent for both gaming and streaming at the same time, then this is going to be the perfect video for you because I will show you the best budget gaming PC build for streaming, whether you want to stream games like Fortnite or Valorant, or you want to stream high demanding games. And also this system is going to be perfect if you want to stream your console and you just want a PC to stream your PS5 or Xbox box and of course I'll show you the level of performance in different games 1080p and 1440p resolution from the system. Now the link to this PC and every alternative that I will mention today will be down in the video description. My name is Valentino with that being said let's start. So first I'll talk about the CPU which is a very important component when it comes to your gaming performance and your streaming performance as well. Here you get the i5 12400F which is a 6 core CPU and that's going to be the minimum for streaming. Now I believe 6 cores is enough for both streaming and gaming at the same time but even if you're on a budget I wouldn't recommend you going for a 4 core and you can think about going with an 8 core CPU depending on how heavy you want your stream to be and how many tabs you want to have open at the same time but to be honest 8 core CPUs are usually more expensive and when we talk about a budget PC 6 cores is going to be the sweet spot. Now this CPU will allow you to play esports games at 240 plus FPS at 1080p competitive settings so you can buy a 240 hertz 1080p monitor and feel free to take advantage of it for both gaming and streaming at the same time. Another very important component when it comes to your streaming performance is going to be the memory. Here you get 32 gigs of RAM which is going to be ideal for streaming, content creation and gaming at the same time. 16 gigs of RAM is actually not enough if you want to have a bunch of tabs open and you want to do gaming and streaming at the same time. However, 32 gigs of RAM is the sweet spot and 64 gigs of RAM is actually not necessary Sorry for streaming and gaming so here you are getting the best price to performance memory kit and then the most important component when it comes to your gaming performance is the graphics card and here i went with the amd rx 7600 now i usually do not recommend buying this graphics card because you can get the rx 6650 xd which is basically the same in terms of performance and it's slightly cheaper but the 7600 has av1 encoding which is going to make your streaming quality look better so that's why i went with this one in my opinion is the best price to performance graphics card out there with AV1 encoding and in terms of the level of performance as I said before in esports games you can expect 240 plus FPS competitive settings and in high demanding games well the 7600 was able to average 88 FPS in a very high demanding test on high to ultra settings so you can actually stream those high demanding games with no issues however there's a graphics card that's slightly more expensive and it's going to be ideal if you want to stream these type of games on high to ultra settings and I will be talking about that graphics card in just a moment but the RX 7600 in my opinion is the best value graphics card out there for streaming and that's why I decided to go with this one. And then for the rest of the components you get a B660 motherboard that's going to be compatible with this i5 processor and then you get plenty of airflow because you get the Fractal Design Pop Mini Air that's going on a huge discount right now. This is in my opinion one of the best cases in terms of airflow and right now is only going for $60. And then you get a well-branded power supply in the Thermal Take Smart BM3, 650 watt power supply. Now, 650 watts is going to be plenty of wattage for this particular system. And in case you were wondering, the price for this particular gaming PC is going to be under $700 right now for 682 bucks. But maybe when you're watching this video, the price might be different. Maybe you find it at a better price or maybe it's a bit more expensive. So I highly recommend you checking the latest pricing and availability from the links down below. Now, if you're not going to be doing streams in high demanding games, or maybe you just want to stream your console, then you can get away with a cheaper graphics card and you can go with the Intel Arc A750. That one has a very strong level of 1080p performance regardless, and it's going to be ideal if you want to do those easy to run streams because you get AV1 encoding with the Intel graphics card and it's quite cheaper going for around $50 less. So if you want to stay around 
$600 and you still want a pretty good graphics card for streaming, that one is a very nice GPU to consider and you can play those esports games at 200 plus FPS as well so you still get high FPS however if you want to play the most high demanding games out there you will have to lower your settings to medium or high to achieve those 60 to 70 plus FPS on average. On the other hand if you have more money to spend and you really want to play those story high demanding games I recommend you upgrading to the RX 7600 XT. The 7600 XT is basically the RX 7600 but it's slightly faster and it has 16 gigs of RAM which is going to be ideal if you want to play those high demanding games. Some of those games will require more than 8 gigs of RAM when it comes to the ultra preset. The RX 7600 comes with 8 gigs of RAM and it might not be enough if you want to play at those highest settings. Again it depends on your favorite game so I do recommend you searching for your favorite game on the ultra preset and see if it actually requires more than 8 gigs of VRAM so I highly recommend you doing your research but the 7600 XT is the better option especially if you have a higher budget because you are making sure that you can stream those high demanding games with no issues when it comes to your VRAM. On top of that the RX 7600 XT is also ideal if you want to stream at 1440p on a budget because the 7600 XT was able to average 67 FPS at 1440p high to ultra settings in high demanding titles so you can expect even higher frame rates if you either lower the graphics settings a bit or if you play with FSR on which is the upscaler from AMD and if you turn on FSR then you can expect closer to 80 or 90 plus FPS depending on the game and depending on the settings and I'm talking about once again 1440p high demanding titles on high to ultra settings. The 7600 XT is great for both 1080p resolution but also 1440p. And something I forgot to mention about that first system, if you get the 7600 non XT is also pretty decent for 1440p and you will be able to average 64 FPS which is very similar in terms of performance compared to the 7600 XT but you are going to be limited by that VRAM if you want to play high demanding titles but again if your games do not require more than 8 gigs of VRAM you can play at 1440p with no issues and a very smooth level of performance and if you want to play at 1080p well the 7600 XT is able to average 95 fps when it comes to the most high demanding titles out there on high to ultra settings so this is a very complete graphics card and of course it comes with av1 encoding that's why I'm choosing this one because if you're just going to do gaming and you are not thinking of doing any streams or maybe you just don't care about the AV1 encoding then you can actually get better graphics cards in terms of price to performance because you are spending less than the 7600 XT and getting a higher level of FPS. If that's you and you want a better PC in terms of just gaming I will be talking about that in just a second after mentioning the price for this system with the 7600 XT which as of right now is going for around $750. $750 and as I said before if you want a better gaming PC in terms of price to performance I highly recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PC builds of the month for every budget and every resolution that video will be in the top right of the screen thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one